Is that gold? That's beast. That's a piece of gold. That's promising to see. Yeah, it is. I would bring the GoPro in here, but you won't be able to see anything. So I'm just trying to feel the band off with my clock. Trying to get close to the back. Look, Mom. No hands. And there's nothing you can do about it. You must believe it to see it. Not the other way around. Good morning or good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the channel if you are new to it. My name is Polly, your weird host. Today will be an interesting day because today we're at my partner's mine site where we'll be using a vacuum or better known as a dredge to suck up the bottom of a hole that he can't quite reach with his excavator. Now he's on bedrock, but the excavator bucket can't quite scrape up the bottom stuff. So here we are. He has found ounces of gold in this area using his equipment already, but not a dredge. So for sure we will find gold, but how much? I've walked through here so many times before for like certain sniping videos, but I was never able to film here. So now, freedom! I can actually show you guys around, check it out. This here is a wash plant in Trommel. As you can see, it's not really put together, but this is where we dig up all the material in this area and then run it through sluice and get ounces of gold. And this is actually a huge pile of pay dirt. If you've seen my last video, that pay pile was probably about this big, but obviously there was a bigger shovel involved in this one. And this is gonna get sluiced as soon as we put together the wash button and trommel. And this is the pit where I'll be going underwater and sucking up all the candy, hopefully, with this thing. A big vacuum. Hey, I'm Andy. Uh, this is my little mine site. Super stoked to have uh, a good friend here today to share a little adventure with me. Uh, we're gonna try to get what the excavator can't get. We can put the high banker right there where oh, like, it's low. Yeah. Because right, it's got a, a table. Maybe we should see how deep that is. It's like a foot and a half. Yeah, the, this high banker might sit there. We're just trying to figure out how to set up either the high banker for the tailings or if we should put the dredge in there or put the dredge out of here and suck in and basically where we're gonna put the sluice box to make it the most efficientness. Giant ball. Yeah. <laughs> Get back to work, Andy. <laughs> I would bring the GoPro in here, but you won't be able to see anything. So I'm just trying to feel the band off with my car. Trying to get close to the band. Okay, so what I'm finding is it's really difficult to figure out where the bedrock is and where the gravel is, especially when, when you're wearing thick gloves. You obviously can't see because of how muddy it is. So I took off the gloves to see if it made any difference, and it does. I can actually feel the bedrock, I can see where I'm working, but it's so short-lived because my hands will get so cold. So what we're gonna do here in a few minutes is we're gonna drain the pool, see what we're looking at, and then go from there. But while we drain the pool, we're gonna clean out the sluice box and see what we're looking at in terms of candy. Alright. Turn it peak. I got no fingers. So nothing we could see on the surface but we did go through a lot of material, more than one pan, of course. There should be gold in here, it's just none we can see. No big pieces of gold, but that's all right. You know, I, I might have dug deep enough into the bedrock that I got all the gold. 
Yeah. Out. Let's dump it back in the hole. So to explain a little bit more, um, is that gold? That's a piece. That's a piece of gold. That's promising to see. Yeah, it is. All right. So, so to explain a little bit more, Andy here has already dug up this area with his excavator. He can't prove that he's gotten the very, very bottom stuff with his excavator bucket. So we're just hoping the dredge will suck up uh, what he missed. But the, the goal is that he doesn't miss any gold. But for this sake, it'd be nice to see something. I go right under, just never come back up. <laughs> yeah. So that's the end of the tale of pop. Whoa, what? It's amazing just how much heavier, like concentrated material is opposed to just panned material. Like. Yeah, it's got to be 50% uh, heavier at least. It's the majority iron sand. Panning is pretty simple. You're really just shaking the pan like that and everything anything heavy in the pan will sink directly to the bottom especially gold because it's so heavy and then when you feel like you've concentrated it enough to the bottom corner of the pan you just let the water do the work and just slowly take the surface off like so you're gonna need a bigger boat and then when you start to see all the rocks come back up you repeat the process over and over again when we sluice the pay gravel through the trommel the concentrates are just what's in the sluice box and the nugget trap it's less than a quarter bucket like that much in a bucket and um that'll take me six hours to pan that out carefully enough to not lose any of the fine gold six hours because it's just all black sand it's so dense it's so mineralized it's cool it's the, the bucket weighs like feels like a full bucket but it's only got just a four inches in the bottom of it and i really admire how how Andy does it. He sits in front of the TV watching Gold Rush or something and just takes his time in his warm living room. It's the coolest thing. I do, thing. I make sure I got a tea. A tea. And uh, TV on, I pull up uh, my panning table right to the couch and pull my feet on the couch. Just so then I can be with my family and, and totally immersed and usually yeah, put on a gold show of some kind. I got a bit of gold in there. Yeah, not too big. We have some candy. No big nuggets, but that's all right. So this isn't really the result that we're looking for, but again, we're rolling completely blind. We can't see anything. So we're just gonna drain the pool, like I said, and see if we can't come up with a better game plan once we see what we're working with. Since there's exposed bedrock, we might as well just detect it. Could be a piece sitting right on top. <laughs> you have a pan? Just an old pan. It's got like a loud target, so I'm just gonna... Oh, there it is. Could be a piece of... Uh, your excavator bucket? Yeah, that's right. The teeth come off. Yeah, it was definitely loud, so we'll see. Yeah. Some rusty iron or something. So we have the pool drained now. And we can actually see where we're working. We got some exposed bedrock there and over there. I just walked by with the metal detector to see what we can pick up and we did find a really old piece of metal that could have been from a shovel, but we're not really sure. I'll probably work towards the left over here because that's where all the material seems to be. And then probably this deep pocket there and then I'll start climbing into where we found that piece of metal. It's a lot of work and obviously we want to find as much gold as possible, but just the fact that we're finding anything up this high is amazing to me. Andy was just was just here digging yesterday and he think he got most of it but there's obviously still gonna be some gold around. But for right now I'm gonna quickly eat something and we'll get right back to it. Okay so we have a little bit of a problem. We can't fill this hole back up with water. We can't find the right clamps to make the hose long enough to be able to bring the water back up to this hole. So we have to wait for it to fill back up naturally which will take all day 
and we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is ignore the dredge altogether, get back in there while the water is low and use a shovel and scoop, and then bring the material all the way over there to use the high banker. As much as I like dredging because it just feels so good, I think this has the dredging beat at least for today because we can actually see where we're working. So we're not we're not running blind and as you can see tons of bedrock, tons of material and when I'm done this I'll just use the detector again and bedrock in there. If any of you know what these are, let me know in the comments. <laughs> so we are calling it a day. We were working for about, I'd say a good two hours and between Andy and I, <laughs> we moved a lot of material. Definitely a lot more than our first run. So for sure, there should be more gold. I just had a quick peek in here and I can see a little bit of candy, but we won't really know until we do the full clean out. Reminds me of the movie Elf. Elf? Yeah, with Will Ferrell walking down the street. Ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> Ooh, a piece of candy. It's finding gum under the. That's the cleanest water I've seen all day. The light's coming from there, so. Totally. Is that better, Ricky? Yep. You got a piece of metal in there. Yes. All right. So unfortunately, we didn't beat our last pan. However, I think we kind of got pretty much the exact same result. To be honest, it's we don't always find fine gold. So finding little bits like this is actually, it tells us some things. I mean, sometimes you could just be a foot away from actually finding a bigger piece. And the potential is actually huge up here. Andy and I, between the both of us, has found some pretty good gold. So it's just... You can't hit it every time, unfortunately, but people want to see more videos and this is the kind of thing that I wouldn't normally post, so... So we're closing the mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for us. We gotta hurry up and pack up, find the truck keys before it gets dark because I lost them. So I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, I found the keys. Today, even though we didn't find a lot of gold, at least we did have some fun. Like I've said before, typically I won't post a video where I don't find much gold but lately I've been getting requests that I post more anyways and to stop my whining. So here's what we did manage to find today, a little bit of gold with a little bit of mercury. And if you're still watching this video, some of the nuggets I found in the area. So that is it for this flight. I hope you enjoyed the ride. If you wanna see anything from Andy and his mining operation, I left his YouTube channel link below. And if you wanna see anything extra from this video or others, please be sure to check out my social media. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And until the next one, yeah, purple socks. Walking down the street. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy.